Okay. Here's my here's my question for you, and here's my ranking. I would actually put Tim Burton's Batman in the top four, no question. I think we're all in agreement to that. Batman Begins is the uh, the one that I find the most interesting because I feel like they were afraid to make a comic book movie back then, in 2005, and they didn't make a comic book movie. They made a guy who it's a coming of age story, it's a martial arts story, and oh by the way, he happens to be Batman. I might give a vote to the Riddler, Jim Carrey, creeping in the top four. Sergio, do you think we should, in the top four at all, have that movie in consideration? And what's your top four? Maybe, maybe you guys are in completely unanimous. I'm the odd man out, and we move along with that top four instead. Sergio, what do you think? Wait, 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 Michelle Pfeiffer, Michelle Pfeiffer. Nicole Kidman was hot in the in Black Batman Forever. <laughs> wow, okay. See, Dark Knight Rises, I actually, I liked it, didn't love it, and I thought, I have a friend of mine who actually uh, definitely would argue to no end that the plot made absolutely no sense. But, for the purposes of our discussion, I think we can all agree, Dark Knight. Yes? We get a thumbs up from both everyone? All right, so... We're and I think everyone can agree the first Batman. Yes? First Batman, Tim Burton? No, uh, talk about Tim Burton. Okay. Okay, and then, I'm, and then we both said Dark Knight Rises, correct? All right, so we're going to give those three. I'm going to go with the deciding vote, and I'm going to go Batman Forever, because it's my show. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of love for almost killing it. A lot of love for almost killing the... Uh, the comic book movie franchises. That's the only love they get from that. All right. We're going to move on to the next one. We, we now get down to four. Um, after the show is over, I'm going to launch a Twitter poll, and we're going to start with Batman, and we're going to let the uh, viewers and listeners decide which Batman film between those four should move on into the final four. Um, going over into the Superman films, Greg, what do we got? Rank, rank them as uh, top to bottom. You can even throw in Superman 3. That's okay. Don't dare say Superman 4 because, you know, then I'm going to disconnect you from the line. Go ahead. <laughs> well, then I'm going to take it up to the next episode. Um, 
Mm-hmm. The original or Superman 2? Uh, okay. Okay. Sure. Uh huh. <laughs> sure. So. No, we can't say it. We can't say it. We don't know yet. I mean, most likely it will be there. It'll be there. Most likely it will be there, but uh, we can't say it because it hasn't come out yet. Uh, Sergio, have you, what do you think of Superman 3, Superman 4, and the Brandon Routh Superman reboot? <laughs> you can pass. in like both he did it in both one and two I know he definitely did it in one because he had to save Lois Lane and then it depends on which cut of Superman 2 you, you uh, watch because the, the director's cut that came out uh, from Richard Donner Richard Donner actually didn't get to finish the film um, somebody else actually had to finish it or he finished he finished all the filming but somebody else edited it together he had uh, um, th- they had released that on DVD a few years ago the Richard Donner cut and it had him going back in time again on the second on the second one so so he did it in both. Look at me. I'm, I'm full of useless knowledge here. See? This is great. All right. So this is what we're going to do with Superman. We're going to leave that category, the last one open. We all agree the first two, Superman 1 and 2 of Christopher Reeve. We definitely agree Man of Steel should be part of the conversation. And then we're going to leave that fourth one open. We're going to let the Periscope peeps maybe decide. If not, I'll be the definitive one. We can eliminate Superman 4 because it was terrible. We're going to say Superman 3. Superman 3 was kind of cool with Richard Pryor, Gainers, and the Brandon Ruth one I thought was a valiant effort on Brian Singer's part, even though it didn't quite hit it. But So we'll leave those two. Uh, can you guys stick around for one more segment? Good, because we've got two more to go. So when we come back, we're going to finish off the Spider-Man and the X-Men. Uh, we have one spot available for Superman in this Final Four extravaganza, and we're going to lean on our Periscope peeps to help us capture that. Secrets of the Sire, when we return. You have two more seconds or one more second? One more second. Yeah. No, two more movies. Two more oh, movies. Okay.